All right. Okay, here's my here's my actual prediction. I think we're gonna get Silent Hill 2 Remake by Bluebird Team. It's gonna be Silent Hill 2 Remake, Bluebird Team. And then they're gonna announce two other games. Uh, one of them is gonna be like kind of a weird spin-off walking simulator type of game. And then the other one is gonna be a new main series game. Okay, here we go, here we go. 10 seconds. Silent Hill. <gasps> a trailer. Oh, this is this is Silent Hill 2. Yeah. It took me a second. This is the bathroom. Okay, to be fair though, th this looks sick. It's Bloober Team. This is very interesting though. I'm very... I know what you are. I know. Why I needed you. But it's all over now. Hell yeah. Wish list now. No, no, no release date? No release date? Not even a 2023? Wish list now? PlayStation console exclusive. Also available on PC, it said. Also available on PC. Okay, here we go. Second trailer. Why are you here? I wonder if this is what we saw screenshots of that got leaked. No. Oh, it is. It's the Annapurna one. You know what? I think you're right. I think we've done something so awful. From the careers of place. stories untold and observation? No way. But for you, I think it's more than that. No code is making... I think you're here for some other reason. No code is making a Silent Hill game. That is I sick. I don't want to be anywhere near you. When you figure that out. Dude. Silent Hill Townfall. Okay. 
Bruh, the guy that made the house Hi, abandoned. My name is John McKellen. I'm the creative director at No Code, and we are working there on Silent Hill Townfall. I remember playing the original Silent Hill on PS1 back in 1999 and became a fan from that moment on. So for us to work on this game with our friends at Annapurna feels like an actual dream come true. I did not it's see this coming. This is really cool. This is a title to this series that both respects the source material, but also does something a little bit different with it. To say that Silent Hill has been an inspiration to No Code would be a massive understatement. Our previous two games, Stories Untold and Observation, both played with that same deep psychological horror. And in No Code, we're all about weaving that narrative and that experience into every aspect of our game design, our audio, our visuals, even our UI. So obviously the teaser trailer is just the beginning and we can't show you any more just yet. We're going to be hard at work for a while, uh, but we can't wait to come back in the new year and show you more. Until then, it might be worth watching that trailer again and see what you might have missed. Oh, don't worry. Okay, so very minimal information about this one. But I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, uh, yeah, no code is a very surprising choice. Um, if you haven't played Stories Untold, uh, you're missing out. First of all, Stories Untold is a very, very creative indie horror game. Came out four or five years ago. It started as just a free game called The House Abandoned, which just randomly went up on Itch.io for free, and it was a text horror game. So, yeah. Holy shit. That's crazy that they're uh that they're now making a Silent Hill game. That's insane. And Annapurna has published great games too. We still got 9 minutes. So, new main series game. They got to close out with it. New main series game. Now the scene has changed and we have our next guest. Our next guest is Jacob Navok. Jacob, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jacob Navok, and I'm the CEO at Genbit. Jacob, what will you be what? presenting this time? I'm going to show you a new kind of Silent Hill, an experience that you haven't seen up until now. A whole new experience. What is it all about? Please take a look at this video for him. It's an ARG. Silent Hill multiplayer game. Is it a multiplayer game? Behavior? What? Behavior, they make de they make Dead by Daylight for anyone that doesn't know. Bad Robot, Behavior, Genvid, DJ, what the hell, well, what is it? Finally, we will leave you with that completely new video. Thank you for watching Silent Hill Transmission. Okay, here we go. Not actual gameplay footage, that's fine. I think actually this might be what we've seen screenshots from. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Now watch out, trypophobia.
<laughs> Silent Hill F. <laughs> That was like a musical F though, like Forte, right? The music is pretty sick though. Developed by Neobards? Neobards? So wait, Neobards are the developer behind Resident Evil Resistance, aren't they? <laughs> Let me double check that. Yeah, and they also they also made uh, Reverse, which releases uh, in another week. That is slightly worrying to me. Um, okay, so let's let's do a recap of everything that was announced. Okay, so the first thing the first thing is, is probably the most exciting, like the one that they led with, was Silent Hill Two Remake. The one thing I'm a little leery about is that it's being made by Bloober team. I really hope that they do it like Capcom did with Resident Evil 2 remake. I really don't want this to be like other Bloober team games. We are working closely with original creators such as Masahiro Ito and Akira Yamaoka. So Okay, clearly there's gonna be combat, right? Look, he's got he's got a big stick. He's he's wielding at the monster. When when he says that they're working closely with Masahiro Ito and Akiriyama, okay, that's great. But it's like Masahiro Ito, like creature design, right? Akiriyama, music composer. Bloobers always had the aesthetics as a big priority in their work. All of their games have great art direction. All Bloober Team's games. Layers of Fear, Observer, Blair Witch, even Blair Witch. Um, they've got brilliant aesthetics, like sound, you know, graphics. Everything looks and sounds great. But I'm, I'm, I'm even a little concerned about them saying that they're just working with those two. Because I'm like, okay, well, like it was never going to be an issue whether the game looks and sounds good. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I'm worried about the gameplay. Players' expectations evolve over time, and certain things need to be modernized to have the same or similar effect. For example, that's why we went with the over-the-shoulder camera. I think that's great. Over-the-shoulder camera, let's go. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be like a more intimate way to interact with the world, I think. And it's gonna have a similar effect that um, doing Over the Shoulder did for Resident Evil 2 Remake, in my opinion. So we can immerse players into the game world as much as possible. To put it simply, our goal is to recreate everything what made the game a timeless classic, but give it a new form, which will draw players even deeper wait, wait, into I the see that. streets of- Wait, wait, I wanna see that. That was kinda cool, do you see that? To okay, look, look simply, at what- Look at what's on his screen in this is in this to one. Recreate everything what made the game a timeless classic, but look at look at this. This is combat right here. To give it a new form, which will draw this classic, but interesting. It... So the the nurse takes like a little swing there. New form, which yeah, that's basically it. It looks like it looks like uh, he dodged right there, right? Classic, but to give it a new form. Did he dodge it or did he get hit? It's hard to tell because it's a really early build, right? Which will draw players even deeper into the foggy streets of Silent Hill. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a username. He's the creator of When They Cry visual novel series, which includes Higurashi When They Cry, Umi Neko When They Cry. And Siconia when they cry. Wow. Uh, it, is uh, Sinnoh aware of this? Because those are some of his favorite games. Umineko when they cry. So th those are all visual novels. Because when I saw that, when I saw that, I was like, oh god, is it like a Wattpad username or something? I hope everyone watching this distribution is eagerly waiting this new Silent Hill. I am sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> that, that's like the funniest part. Of the I'm sure. Uh, you you want to make that promise? Are you sure you want to make that promise? I'm a little underwhelmed. I was really anticipating 
more information. Like, we've been waiting for, like, when did Downpour come out? 2011? 2012? And we didn't actually see any gameplay at all. We just saw cinematic trailers, and there was a lot of corporate talk about, like, we're gonna take Silent Hill 2 and modernize it for a modern audience. We're gonna be doing things a little different while still staying true to the spirit of Silent Hill. They said that, and like all of them, every single one, Silent Hill Townfall, the, the Return to Silent Hill movie, Silent Hill Ascension, we're gonna make sure that we respect the original vision of Silent Hill, the atmosphere that fans have come to expect from Silent Hill. And it's just like, well, but what is it? It's like Silent Hill Ascension. What is it? Silent Hill Forte. What is it? Silent Hill uh, Townfall. What is it? You know? It's like the only thing that we really know what it is is Silent Hill 2 Remake. It just makes me wonder, like, you could have just, like, you could have put this off. Like, I think it would have been way more hype to wait six months or a year or something and come in and really knock people's socks off with it. Cause isn't isn't there a Resident Evil stream tomorrow? Isn't there a Resident Evil showcase tomorrow? It's it. I don't think it's a coincidence that this went live a day before the Resident Evil showcase. I here's what I think. I think Konami was feeling a little. They were feeling a little FOMO. I think Konami's been watching Capcom like that Squidward meme through the blinds. They were watching like Capcom, SpongeBob playing with the ball outside. And they were like, I want to play too. And Capcom being like, everyone loves Resident Evil 2 Remake. We remade Resident Evil 3. And now we're going to remake Resident Evil 4. And, and Konami was like, I want to play too. And then they made this, you know what I mean? They were just like, oh, we're, hey, hey, I'm doing stuff too. That, that kind of seemed like that was what the transmission was. Hey, hey, don't forget about us. We're working on things too. It's like, okay, first of all, haven't done anything in 10 years. Uh, like the most revolutionary, possibly revolutionary horror game of all time, where you had Hideo Kojima, Guillermo del Toro, and Junji Ito working on something with Akira Yamaoka in 2014. You just canned. They said that the game was 80% done. That, that thing was going to be, I don't care if they were totally happy with it. Apparently not. That's why it stopped, right? That's why they stopped it. But it was going to be a noteworthy game no matter what. And we were robbed of it. So, like, for them to come back as, like, the first thing that we've ever seen from Silent Hill in 10 years. And for it to be, like, cinematic trailers and a bunch of, like, we're working on stuff. Just don't worry about it, okay? It's coming. And we're going to make sure it's great. You won't be disappointed. It's just, like... Okay, well, I've been, but I've been burned by you so many times. Remember when they remember when they had that announcement last year and they were like, skateboards! Feel like we should have been given more. Is basically my, my takeaway. With that said, um, I love a lot of the names involved here. Um, like, specifically No Code and Annapurna working on Town Hall. I think even though we didn't get any info about that, that's going to be at least interesting and different i'll be interested to see if the resident evil showcase tomorrow does a bit better yeah here we go resident evil 4 remake let's do this hello everyone I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Are we gonna get to see like gameplay gameplay? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Is it, I was about to say, is it when you first go into the village? How far could he have gone? Who's he? Oh, is this? Oh, this is the very beginning. 
This is the first house. Anyone home? Oh, it's... So here's where... You meet someone, right? There's actually no one there. Oh, they cut there. Nice. Okay. So it's going to be a surprise. For when we play. Where is this? Is this in the same house? Hey. I read you. Huh. What's your situation? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I like I like how Resident Evil 3.5 this feels. It kind of feels like the Hookman demo. I bet you they were going for that. Nice. Aim for the legs, Leon. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, look at that crouch. You can crouch? So there's going to be stealth segments. That's interesting. Cuz you can't you can't crouch in Resident Evil 4. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in the We could see Hunnigan. Nice. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. Let's go. Yes! Do you get to look through the binoculars? Oh, you're just charging in, huh? That's not how I play this part at all. Oh, dude, the Ganados look so cool. I, lo I love the, the voice lines. Leon! Don't kill the cow! Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Dude, what are you doing? Go upstairs! I'm like backseating the trailer. Wait, why are you facing him up in here? It's like the worst. Oh, you got the shotgun! Don't waste it on her! Save it for the chainsaw man! Oh my god. Holy shit. Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you doing, Leon? <laughs> Leon! <laughs> what did you think? As you just saw, what we the are paying fuck? respect to the original <laughs> game's world while implementing what? new ideas and stated the art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. We think okay. this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you play the original. 
that I'm, I'm rarely impressed by these things, but I am like hyped enjoy. right now. I mean, y'all saw me during the Silent Hill showcase. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. I love the Ganados. They did so good with them. A newly added parry using his knife. And the knife parry, dude. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original, using yes. the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing yes. the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. They got the iconic attaché case. The merchant! Stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. 10 out of 10. Is it too early to say game of the year? We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Okay, I, I'm not We're sure I love the, the new game voice game while respecting its core experience. But I'm willing to overlook it and modernizing the play field. He's got kind of a Michael Caine now thing I'd going like to on. Share some new information regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox yeah, people Series still S can't get and PS5s. The people still can't get the new ones. Can be upgraded to the PlayStation so that's good. 5 digital version at no additional cost. So please, look forward to it. Before uh, I go, yeah. we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. What is it? What is it? What is it? World premiere. Resident Evil 9. Code Veronica remake. Is this Ashley? Where's everyone You're going? Looking Bingo? For someone? Lewis? Maybe. Some missing senorita? <laughs> oh, I like Lewis. He looks cool. Where are you? Dude, the castle. Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. You can stop right there. Ada. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? My faith in the cycle will show her the bad. Ashley, run! The entire world shall overflow with these graves. What's happening to me? <laughs> Salazar. Now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. I just have to not die before March 24th, 2023. That's the goal. Dude, that was awesome. That was that was so good. I I I like couldn't be more impressed with the Resident Evil 4 remake. See, I like I like how atmospheric this first part is. Anyone home? It really it really reminds me of like the Hookman build of Resident Evil 4, like before they changed into what it was. The Resident Evil 3.5 version. <clears throat> Not really this part. That's like classic, but like this part right here. Like going down to this basement, which isn't there in the original game. Yeah, like th this feels so Hookman to me, which is really cool. I'm glad that they took that and added it like a, 
a bonus section like that, at least, into Resident Evil 4. The fact that they added a crouch is very interesting. Yeah, the crouch here. It's like he's stealthing from that enemy, which is an option you don't have in the original game. You know what I like about this, too? Is that the tone? The tone is the same as, like, two, the 2 and 3 remake. And the new games, I guess, 7 and 8 as well. The tone is more in line with the RE Engine games. And I was wondering how they were going to handle all the cheesy one-liners uh, from the original game. Because Leon's really... He really hams it up in the original RE4. But it seems like he's more serious here, which I like. Now, why... Why did he do this right here? <laughs> I've played this game. I've played the original Resident Evil 4 like a million times, and I always leave the cow alone. Ah. Kill me for the repairs later. They, well, there. Okay, there's a one-liner there. Bill me for the repairs later. <laughs> Showing that you can vault over the fence. Nice. And then, of course, look at look at Leon. He's so serious here. <laughs> of course, uh, as soon as you go into this building, you start the cutscene, right? I hope he says, What are they planning? This really stresses me out. It really stresses me out that he does this. He's missing all of his shots too. This is like what it's like for people watching my YouTube playthrough of Resident Evil 4. So he had, he had a little he had a little knife parry prompt there they didn't use. I was wondering what that was because I noticed that that came up and I was like, what's that? So, even if you don't have the knife out, you can parry the chainsaw. Whoever's playing Leon here really is stressing me out. I love this chicken right here. This chicken, wait, wait, wait. Can we go back? Can we go back? This, this chicken that's just like, I don't really understand what's going on here. Everybody seems to have a problem with this guy. <laughs> now this is interesting, being able to see uh, the eye holes of the of the bag man here. It's cool. That is so cool. They couldn't have picked a better clip. To have at the end like that that is awesome having having the attache case i because i was worried that they were going to have the typical re engine inventory that they've had in two three seven and eight but they have they have the classic inventory that is so cool it's like they they're doing everything right i'm amazed case effectively will be key now, what are these? What, what are those in the upper right? So you've got the red herb, green herb. Um, that's crafting material, right? Um, gunpowder. It's gunpowder for you to craft ammo. So what are the other ones? Oh, maybe mixed herbs? Oh, maybe. In addition to managing the weapons and items. So here, so here you can see the different... Oh, no, no. You... you... Wait, it's gunpowder and... It's another material to make ammo. So that's what a mixed herb looks like. It's in a it's in a tube, just like in the original game. Carry. Cool. I like how they've got a like a hyper realistic version on the right. That's sweet. Herbs. You can see PTAs in the top right. So pesetas is still the currency. The bolt thrower. Okay. You got the conventional rifle, shotgun, scope, case upgrade, recipe for bolts. A quiet projectile weapon that is great for immobilizing enemies. Bolts can be retrieved and reused. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your place. You can upgrade the knife. Huh. As a Silent Hill fan, this is like watching everyone get the Christmas present you want while you get the cheap knockoffs. 
Well, Silent Hill fans should be used to that. Style. <laughs> they've they've been that Squidward meme for ten years. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected. Oh, these are the gems you guys are talking about. So you, that's how you can get the treasure map oh, or the Punisher. Oh. So maybe you get gems by doing the blue emblems, or maybe there are no blue emblems. Maybe this is an alternative way to get the Punisher, because the way you get the Punisher in the original game is by going on the merchant's little blue emblem quest where you just shoot blue emblems. But I guess they don't have that then if you get it with gems. Can be the f look at look at the look at the skins here. Romantic. The internet's gonna lose their shit. Casual, romantic, hero, villain. Oh my god, villain. Treasure map unlocks additional treasures that cannot be found with the various treasure maps obtainable in game. Really, the deluxe weapons are the Sentinel Nine and the Skull Shaker. Interesting. You also have different uh, filters that you can put on. Huh. First is the deluxe edition, which will be available for all platforms. Now they don't show you Ashley's cosmetics here, but I guess we're not getting the suit of armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing not. So we got a casual Ashley, romantic Ashley. Now this is what I wanted to watch again, this part right here. World premiere. Now one one thing one thing I'm gonna need y'all's help with. One one thing I need I'm gonna need y'all's help with um is I want to see if we can spot anything in this part that's from the island section of the game. Because I didn't notice any. I think... I, it, it's good to know that they have the castle. Because I remember in the first trailer, I was like, there's no Salazar. There's no Salazar. <laughs> what does this mean? Um, and I didn't... I, I noticed something that, that like they looked like cultists, but I wasn't sure. I mean, these are these are clearly castle cultists. So they've got, they've got the castle section in the game. Whew. The best part of the game. You're here looking for someone? Maybe some missing senorita? I like how smug Lewis looks. He's just like, yeah, well, what's up? What's up, Leon? He looks, he looks funny. I like it. Ashley, where are you? Now this, I think this, the dimly lit rooms, I think is supposed to be the castle. Cause see, look, he's looking at that, and this is clearly in the castle, right? Like that's that's Sadler. Your soul. Now this is, I think this is Sadler in the background. Um, we just saw the big cheese. This is the church. Church looks good. Wires cleansing. There's the parasite. Ashley Graham, are you in here? <laughs> just let me go. Listen. Actually, that last scene where he was walking around the dimly lit room, I think that might be in the church, actually. I'm here in the president's quarters. And... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. I'm going to get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada, who are you? What are you doing here? Look at how look at how smug Lewis looks. I love it. Uh, Lewis has always got a big shit eating grin on in all these scenes. Look at him. My faithful disciple will show her the path. There's El Gigante. I missed that the first time. Damn. Ashley, run! That's um well. Del Lago, right? World shall overflow with these now this is Salazar. The right and left hand are with him, and this is the castle. Now this looks more like the castle, actually. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. Now that last part where he says, abandon your body, was that from the island? It's hard to tell. She's lost. I gotta say, Ada looks... Amazing. No matter what. 
And Salazar looks repugnant. So great job. Now that he has oh my God. The castle. Cynthia. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damn, dude. That's so great. I can't believe it.